When I was growing up, I think what inspired me most was nature. At one point, we actually lived in the forest in tents. For my father, it was the hardest time of our life, um, for obvious reasons. Um, but for me, it was my favorite time, because we were just surrounded by trees. And all, all day, I would spend my days like looking, examining the trees, being up in the trees, walking through nature. I was never scared of the forest. And always when I was in that world of forest and animals, I felt like my feet were on the ground. Almost where, that's where I was meant to be. I modeled for just about 20 years. I started at 15 and I ended probably about 2010, 2011, as we were sort of coming out of the financial crisis. Fast forward about four or five years ago, my significant other, David, and I sort of looked at the map and followed the equator around the globe and said, where should we go? We want to go somewhere new. And we end up in Africa area. We landed basically in the hands of the grandfather of the family, Dr. Ian Douglas Hamilton. He's really is the godfather of elephants. He's been researching elephants for as long as Jane Goodall's been researching the chimps. And they started to tell us about what was going on with the ivory trade. And over the year, we started to think about what we were gonna do and how we were gonna do it. And we started to put together this campaign, Not On My Planet, and Not With A K, which basically plays homage to the fact that elephants never forget. And we tie knots, at least we used to a lot more to not forget something, not to forget awareness of a disease or a cause, something like that. Then that was the beginning of our campaign and we asked a whole bunch of people to post for us as we sort of put it all together. So basically though, in that campaign, what we found is we had so much exposure, but we had very little funds. But we were like, how can we use this? We have an engaged audience. We ha how do we turn this into money? and basically we approached brands. Tiffany basically, they call us in for a meeting, kind of not far after our launch date, and they were like, we made a collection for you called Save the Wild. And we're like, okay. And that was kind of all in the beginning of like, wait a minute, this is such a great idea. And they're like, and we're gonna donate 100%. And so they set the bar. In 2018, we did our first collaboration with Lueve, which um, they actually have these mini elephant bags. The collection was so special because they got the Samburu women, which is the women in northern Kenya, that are renowned for their beadwork. They got them to do all the beadwork on the bag. So it was a collaboration of, of, from, with the women's co-op in northern Kenya with women who actually live with elephants too. We never thought it would be that successful. And it was literally like one day we got married to something and we didn't plan to get married and now we're fully committed. 